longest bestseller for three consecutive years from 2020. The Nature of Chairman Kim Sung Ho's Money, a must-read book for economic management chosen by 600,000 awake readers. In the book, Chairman Kim Sung Ho teaches you how to make real money. Without any luck or stocks, it's literally made from your bare hands. It tells you how to make money with seed money. An office worker who is currently earning to million won. Someone who is living a negative life and unemployed youth. Parents who can no longer pass on poverty to our children. Anyone can find the advice they need. In this book, I would like to learn how to become rich, how to be rich, and how to look at the crisis. In the tough economic situation of the fall of 2022, I look forward to the answer to what perspective I should look at this situation, and what I should do now. 3 Ways to be rich There are only 3 ways to be rich. It's inheritance, winning the lottery, or succeeding in business. The most realistic of these is to succeed in business. There are two ways to succeed in a business. The first is to start a business yourself, and the second is to climb into other people's success. It's buying stocks. This method is safer than starting a business yourself. You can start from an early age, and do enough at work. There are already companies around the world, that are doing well as top companies. Buying stocks is much easier than managing them yourself. But there is something very important from here. You should think that stocks are not for sale, but for buying. It's not a good thing if the stock I bought goes up quickly, as soon, as I buy it. This is because you can save more money and have more good stocks if you go up slowly, for a long time. Whether or not you can realize this is a very important part, do you think? Is it good if the stock I buy now rises quickly? Or, I don't want it to go up while I'd save money? As a way to start, first find the best company, in the field you know well. You can find a company with the largest market capitalization in the industry. The first prize is generally not ruined, and has the right to price. Buy more than a week of shares in the company every month. It is important in itself to buy. Studying without buying stocks is completely different. The way you look at business itself changes. Once you have even one week, news or industry information related to the company will be visible, and economic terms will be understood on their own. Collect steadily for a year like that. It's okay if the stock goes down. If you fall, you can buy it at a low price, and if you go up, it's good. The thing to worry about is that it goes up too fast. If you collect 5 or 10 years like this, you will gradually become an entrepreneur. Before I know it, I have an eye for the entire industry, and I am interested in the entire financial market. The earlier you start, the better. If teenagers and 20s develop their eyes on the industry and continue to invest while working. At the age of 40, there will be a day when capital will outpace earned income. Your colleagues will be beaten from then on, but you will be rich in freedom. If you want to be rich quickly, you shouldn't try to be rich quickly. The biggest mistake people make when they want to be rich is to have a mind to be rich quickly. If you have a desire to become rich quickly, you can't make the right decision. It is easy to be deceived by fraudulent and profitable, and it is in a hurry to invest according to emotions. Almost every ending ends in failure. The only way to get rich quickly, is to have a mind not to get rich quickly. The best age for rich people is after the age of 50. Then, what should I do in my 20s, 30s, and 40s? You have to learn the skills to make money, the ability to raise money, the ability to maintain money. They say that they will truly become rich only, when they abandon their desire to become rich, quickly, and raise seed, money, to learn welfare and investment, learn economic terms, and escape from financial illiteracy. Just start reading books on the market, and that's the start. There are no areas where you can make money quickly. If there is such a field, there will be huge risks, and your assets will be lost if you are not prepared or lucky. The safe assets we can entrust need time, because they do not rise quickly. The best blue chips in the world change in value depending on the company's sales and profits. Can the rise in value soar overnight? Investment, systems, technology development, education, etc. to increase the value of the company. It takes a lot of effort, and this cannot be done in a short period of time. The same is true of real estate. Real estate soaring in a short period of time 
is just three human figures following the financial panic. As the upward trend continues, people who join the greed belatedly flock to it. Stocks continue to rise regardless of the actual value of the market. But the situation will eventually form a bubble-free crash. This time is bound to come. This is because humans are greedy and try to make profits quickly, and in a bubble situation, anxiety rises to its peak even with small changes. There are often three categories of people in these butts. The first is the people who suffer this damage. Financial assets are linked to businesses. The plunge in stock prices shrinks the company's business. Unemployment increases and people's incomes decrease. This leads to a real estate slump. People in debt are pressed for debt. Stocks went up and down among themselves. The damage is to me. That's because there's debt. Because I'm in debt, other people's asset changes, even my asset changes. It was exposed to the effects. The second category is. These are people who are not affected by this plunge at all. These people are debt free and have stable jobs. The third category is unique. They are wealthy people who benefit from this situation. They see this as an opportunity to earn years worth of assets at once. There's a huge shift in wealth in this plunge. But unfortunately, this big shift in wealth is one where the poor's money is. It's a move that flows to the rich, and the rich get richer. The rich have the greatest risk, and the state of the cheap assets, that no one buys, that they throw away, is the biggest risk. I realized that the risk is the lowest. It's people who put themselves into action. At this time, it is filled with the most extreme stories about the game. Nevertheless, they do not stop investing. I believe in the fundamental values of industry and the economy. They are optimists who believe that the world will eventually move forward, and their ambitions have always been successful. It will be the same in the future. The factors that affect the economy are almost the same and the psychology of human greed and fear. This is because it does not change from the past to the present. Fall of 22, about the current scary economic situation. Am I full of fear? Or, I feel like I'm getting a chance. Am I making bold investments? The results will be revealed in a few years. As always, at the time, with a person full of joy, it will be divided into people who regret it. What choice will you make now? When the risk is high, the risk is the smallest. In fact, not many people understand this contradiction. In the stock market, it's often during the money-making boom. It looks like there's no risk. In the event of a stock market crash, the list will be significantly higher. It is expected to increase. The list looks big, not knowing how deep and how long the losses will be in the crash. It plunged because no one bought stocks. In fact, that's when the risk is the lowest. The reason why the upside is so risky, is because, this is because it is the only point where bubbles form. There is a famous saying by Warren Buffett, when others are greedy, they are afraid. You should be greedy when others are afraid. After all, a bad situation is not a bad one. Rather, it gives you the opportunity to buy assets at a discounted price. This is the time when the risk has been reduced. I'm scared of the list. The moment I don't buy anything. It is the moment when the risk is the least. Namely, the first one was when the price was cheap. I have a firm belief that I'll recover soon. The risk is low. Greed creates risk. If this greed spreads to the public, a bubble of optimism is created. Bubbles make a crash. But you're desperate, you're terrified. When the time comes, spring comes and the sun rises. The end of all greed is doomed. And remember that all despair holds hope. Finally, his message is summarized as follows. You don't sell stocks. You have to think that you're only living. If the stock I bought goes up quickly, as soon as I buy it, it's not a good thing. You have to go up slowly to save more money. Because you can have more of that good stock. Don't try to get rich quickly. If you want to get rich quickly, I can't make a good judgment. Don't look at the risks and follow your emotions. You're going to make an investment. The rich have the greatest risk, and the state of the assets, that no one has bought, that they have thrown away. I realized that the risk is the lowest. It's people who put themselves into action. You should be afraid when others are greedy and greedy when others are afraid. The economic and stock situation in the fall of 2020. How do we see and how do we behave? Are you selling assets in fear? 
or the current situation where the price is cheap. Think of it as the least risky, I'm getting a chance to be rich. Are you taking it as a heart-beating situation? It's up to you to make a choice, but my results over the years. It will be very different. The rich are already acting on their answers. To gain greater wealth. That's it for the rich in the world to think about money. To learn how to build wealth. We were change one. Subscribe is a lot of strength for me.